US 75 part 2 we're continuing through the Midwest all right we're gonna pick up where we left off we're gonna go from Omaha Nebraska around Interstate 80 to Noyes Minnesota near the Canadian border so uh, do everything you see in the lower left hand corner and let's begin so picking up where we left off uh, we're Meeting Interstate 80, 80 west for Lincoln, 80 east for Council Bluffs and Des Moines. So a pretty good sign for 80 here. Uh, Council Bluffs is Iowa's weird control city, but they do throw Des Moines on there too, which is nice. And we will be concurrent with Interstate 480 north. Uh, it's sound for downtown Omaha and Epley Airfield. Uh, continuing on, we are splitting from Interstate 480. Uh, 75 North is now signed for Event Center Ballpark and Fleet Airfield. And here's a nice look at downtown Omaha. Uh, definitely a better view going northbound. And here we are um, on 480 itself. Uh, 75 is signed for the North Freeway. So they're giving the Kentucky treatment to 75. And here we are splitting from the road to take you to the airfield. It is now just signed for 30th Street. Our first control city we see coming out of the Omaha area is Blair, which I think is a good choice because you wouldn't sign Sioux City because you would want to get on Air C-29 to get to Sioux City faster, so Blair is a sensible choice instead of it. It is on the mileage sign as well as we meet Airstate 680 right here. On 680 itself, it is signed for 48th Street. And as we get closer to Blair, we do have a mention of Sioux City, uh, Sioux City 83 miles. So that's an awesome sign for Nebraska. Uh, good job there. Here we are meeting with US 30 in Blair, and we will be concurrent with it for a short time. And here is where that concurrency ends. Uh, 75 is for turning right here. And our next model sign we see we have Herman 10, uh, Takema 17, and Sioux City 73. And another model sign we have Takema 7 and Sioux City 64. So Nebraska does really good with signing Sioux City, and I hope it stays that way. And our next model sign after that, we see uh, Decatur 16 and Sioux City 54. But for some reason, they have a copy of Peter Gabriel's So album on here. But hey, I want some free music. I'll go and take that. No, Peter Gabriel, why would you leave this on the sign? No. Okay, I know it's not Peter Gabriel that did this. It's uh, unfortunately the Nebraska DOT decided to leave this here. Are you a little maggot? You make me want to vomit. Nine and so Sioux City 38. So the SO is an abbreviation for South. And again, that's such a weird abbreviation for that. And also South Sioux City, we're getting kind of a East St. Louis, West Memphis situation here because Sioux City itself isn't too far away from South Sioux City and it's way bigger. So why not just keep South Sioux City off of here and just sign regular Sioux City? However, another mile sign we meet on the way, uh, South Sioux City is on the second line and Sioux City itself is 27 miles away. See, they're only two miles apart, so I don't understand why Nebraska is wanting to sign South Sioux City over it. Seems pointless, but whatever. Here we are meeting with US 77 on the way, and we will be concurrent with 77 North. And our model sign we see we have Dakota City 7 and Sioux City 13, so... South Sioux City isn't on this particular sign. However, it is on this sign, and we still have the SO Sioux City, uh, weird abbreviation. And also, uh, speaking of abbreviations, we have Sioux City, Iowa, seven miles. So 
I guess they got to remind you that regular Sioux City is in another state if they have their own version of Sioux City on here. Uh, here we are meeting with uh, Interstate 129, and we will be concurrent with it as we split from North 77 up here. And we are also meeting US 20 here, and this exit was requested by the Derpogs, so thanks for the request. And we get the control city, or control state rather, of Iowa. So that's a little strange, but I do kind of understand it. And here we are, we have several reassurance shields. We have Interstate 129, East 20, and North 75, and also two I-29, so a pretty good reassurance shields right here. Here we are crossing the Missouri River. Uh, we see a state line sign right here. And further on, we have a Welcome to Iowa sign. Uh, people of Iowa welcome you, so a pretty good welcome sign right here. And we are also meeting Interstate 29. Uh, 29 North is signed for downtown Sioux City in a quarter of a mile, so that's good, the sign. Uh, South 29 and Business 75 signed for Council Bluffs and Sioux Gateway Airport. Uh, airport makes sense to sign. Council Bluffs should not be there. It should probably be uh, Kansas City, although this could just be a local traffic thing, so I'm not sure. And here we are uh, splitting uh, right here. We have the exit for 29 North for downtown Sioux City. East 20 and North 75 are now signed for Fort Dodge and Lamar's. So I think these are good choices for both roads. And we have Hinton and Lamar's signed. Uh, Lamar's 24 miles. And once we get closer to Lamar's, we have Lamar 6 and Sioux Center 27. So Sioux Center is signed after Lamar's. And on the way, as we split with State Highway 60 for Sheldon, uh, North 75 is signed for 5th Avenue Northwest and Sioux Center. And another sign along the way, Sioux Center is still signed. And once we are in Sioux Center, we have Rock Valley and Rock Rapids signed as we meet with US 18, and we will be concurrent with it for a while. And here is that concurrency ending, 75 will continue straight. And once we're in Rock Rapids, uh, we are now signed for Laverne, Minnesota, 17 miles, which I think is a good choice because Laverne is where you meet Interstate 90. And there's not really any major cities past Sioux City, really. So uh, these smaller towns, I think, are okay to sign, at least for now. We'll see along the way um, what cities I think will be what should be signed. So continuing on, we cross into Minnesota. We kind of ride roughly around the state line for a bit, but we do have a Welcome to Minnesota sign right here. It's so hard to see the text, but I do think this is a cool-looking welcome sign. Minnesota has some really cool welcome signs, so I like that. I wish their control cities were cooler than their signs, though, but this one's not too bad. We have Laverne 8 and Rock Rapids for uh, going south. Laverne still can maintain in Minnesota, so I like that. Here we are meeting Interstate 90. We get the correct control city for westbound of Sioux Falls, but eastbound we get Worthington, which should not be there. That should be Rochester, Minnesota. Even Albert Lee would be a better sign than this. So Minnesota, I don't know what you're doing on 90 East right here. And past Laverne, we have Pipe Zone as our next control city, which I think is okay. Uh, I think this is uh, serviceable enough just because the towns in Minnesota we're going to meet are not that big, so something like this is okay. And here we are in Pipe Zone, and we are now signed for Lake Benton and Marshall. Not sure about Marshall. Uh, Lake Benton is okay as a secondary, but I think this should be Canby or something like that. And along the way, we get Ivanhoe and Brookings. Yeah, I don't even 
know what that is! 14 is signed for Brookings, so... Ivanhoe is what signed for US-75. Is that gonna keep up? And it does. Why? Ivanhoe is so small, and like... I don't even have a joke for this city. Like, the name speaks for itself right here. Uh, but continuing on, uh, Ivanhoe is on the top line, Canby is the second line, and Madison is the bottom line. So Canby and Madison, I think those are pretty good uh, cities to have on the sign. Uh, continuing on, we have uh, Canby 17 and Madison 40, so pretty good for right here. And then we have one of these uh, R easel signs. We have Junction, Minnesota 67-6 and Madison 21, so Madison is maintained. Uh, here we are meeting with US-212, um, and we see the control cities uh, right here. Madison is still signed for going straight. And past that, we have Madison 5, and since we're getting close to Madison, we have the next control city of Ortonville, Ortonville 31. And Ortonville is still signed at random interchanges. Here we are meeting US-12 up here, and the sign in the distance we see uh, Wheaton is our next control city for 75, and Benson? Okay, I see uh, NC Dodds made their trip up here. And our next model sign is in horrible quality just because this is from 2007, uh, but we do see Wheaton still on the bottom line. And here's another model sign, a little better quality. We have uh, Dumont 10 and Wheaton 17. And after we get to Wheaton, we have Breckenridge uh, 34, which I don't really like just because uh, Wapenton, North Dakota is right beside it, and it is a bit bigger than Breckenridge. So I don't mind Breckenridge being signed, but make it a secondary and put... Uh, Wapetson on the bottom line instead of just a single line for Breckenridge. And once we're past Breckenridge, uh, we get to we see some snow here, which I do really like. In fact, uh, there's a little bit of snow covering this uh, mileage sign, which is a little weird. Um, I imagine it's probably Fargo since we're pretty close to Fargo now, and this would be a good time to sign it. So let's see some Fargo. Moorhead! Moorhead! No! Oh no! No, 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 no! The soda, why? Fargo is like, I I'm pretty sure it's like 1.5 miles away from Moorhead. I mean, yeah, 75 goes to Moorhead, it doesn't really go to Fargo, but come on, Fargo is like 1.5 miles away. You can sign Fargo here. Uh And I couldn't find another mile sign between there and Moorhead, so I just jumped ahead to Interstate 94, which I guess is the main reason for signing Moorhead. Which, again, if you're going to sign that as a secondary, I'd be completely fine with that, because it has enough stuff to work off of as being a secondary, as, you know, it's an Interstate Junction, and, you know, it's a big suburb of Fargo, so... I'm okay with it as a secondary if you're going to put Fargo on it. But here at I-94, like, 94 West Fargo, okay. But 94 East Fergus Falls. I know Minnesota likes doing secondary controls, but come on. Just sign either Minneapolis or if you're going to sign something secondary worthy, St. Cloud. St. Cloud would be fine as a secondary here. And here we are in Moorhead. Uh, we meet with US-10, and we'll be concurrent with it for a while. And as we split, 75 North is now signed for Crookston, which I think is pretty good. Uh, it's the last sort of big-ish town that uh, 75 goes through, so I think that's pretty good. And we even see it on the bio sign, 68 miles away, so it's nice to see something that's somewhat far on the US Highway in Minnesota. As we get closer, we have Aldridge 6, Crooks in 16. We meet with US 2, and we'll be concurrent with it for a while. 
Uh, two is a horrible control city uh, west for East Grand Forks instead of just regular Grand Forks. And here we are splitting from US 2 uh, along with uh, Minnesota Highway 75. Uh, and now we have uh, Euclid 12, Warren 29, and Canada 91. So they do sign Canada, which I think is a good choice from Crookston, because there's nothing else substantial in Minnesota between here and the Canadian border, and there's not really anything in Canada to sign. I mean, sign Winnipeg maybe, but then again, you'd be better off on I-29 if you wanted to get to Winnipeg, so I think Canada here works. And to keep it up, uh, Canada is still on the bottom line. And now we just have one line for Canada at 20 miles. And here are meeting with Minnesota Highway 171. That is the way you would want to go to to go through customs to get to Canada. 75 is not very uh, customs friendly because here we are with another sign. We have two Canadian customs, Emerson I-29 going the left here. And 75 does go through kind of a substandard section before it gets to the customs area on it. And here's the best I could get on Street View. Again, it's from 2007 or 2008, don't remember. But I don't think this, Canadian's, uh, this Canadian customs area is uh, operational. But here is the somewhat end of US 75. And taking a look at the Super Verdict Northbound, it's a Plano because it's a bigger suburb than McKinney. So I'd sign it first, then I'd say McKinney after that. And Sherman because it's kind of a big town in North Texas. And then Denison after that since it's bigger than Durant. And Durant after that because you have the famous Choctaw Casino resorts there. Plus it should be US 70 and some other uh, highways and there's also a university there uh, after that I'd say McAllister and Tulsa since it's the fastest way to get to Tulsa by staying on US 69 uh, along with 75 but 75 does split before it so I'd say Ada because even though Oklahoma Highway 3 is what takes you to Ada I think that's worth signing just because the other cities on US 75 aren't really that worth signing either then I'd say Calvin slash uh, Wotumka and then with Tumka slash Tulsa, then Henrietta Tulsa because of I-40, then Okmulgee Tulsa since it's sort of like a bigger town on the way. Then after that, I'd just say Tulsa, and then Barlesville because it's the last sort of big place in Oklahoma. Then I would go to Independence, Kansas. I would not sign uh, Dewey at all. After Independence, I would say Yates Center slash Topeka, then Burlington, Topeka, and then just Topeka uh, once you're north of Interstate 35. And then from there, I'd say Holton slash Omaha. Uh, Holton by itself isn't horrible, but since there's not really big places between Topeka and Omaha, I'd say just sign Omaha along with these places. So then Sabatha, Omaha, then Auburn, Omaha, Nebraska City, Omaha, and then Omaha. And then continuing, I'd say Blair after that because uh, that's the sensible thing to sign. Then Tacoma, Sioux City, and then I'd just say regular Sioux City. Like maybe South Sioux City as a secondary be okay, but I think just regular Sioux City is fine just to keep from drivers getting confused. Then I'd say Lamar, Sioux Center, Rock Rapids, Laverne, Pipestone, Lake Benton slash Canby, Canby slash Madison, Madison slash Ortonville, then Ortonville, then Wheaton, Breckenridge slash uh, Wapenton, then Moorhead and Fargo co-signed, then Crookston, and then Canada. And this will conclude our eastbound section and our westbound section will be continued in part three so stay tuned for that and i hope you enjoyed